Ready to dive into the world of fluid simulations? Let's make some virtual liquid the easy way. First, let's create our fluid distributor. We'll go with a sphere. Resize and shape it to your liking. Got your object ready? Great. Now with the object selected, head to Object, find Quick Effects, and click on Quick Liquid. Just like that, we're halfway there. See the new liquid domain box? Resize it to cover the sphere and any other object you want the liquid to interact with. Keep in mind the domain's boundary is where our liquid's journey ends. Next, click on your sphere, go to the Physics tab, and under Flow Behavior, choose Inflow. This turns our sphere into a liquid source. Now, for the object the fluid interacts with, go to its Physics tab, select Fluid, and change the type to Effector. This makes it ready to catch or collide with our fluid. Back to the liquid domain now. In the Physics tab, decide on a resolution your computer can handle smoothly. Then, under Liquid, click on Mesh. In the Cache section, set the end frame for your animation and change the type to All. Ready? Hit Bake and watch the magic unfold. But what if you want to control the flow? Easy! Go back to your sphere, right-click on Inflow in the Physics tab, and insert a keyframe. Move to where you want the flow to stop, uncheck Inflow, insert another keyframe, and rebake your domain. Want a different fluid shape? Modify your object to be anything you like. Here we have shaped it in a way to cause a pouring look. And there you have it, your own fluid simulation in Blender. For more quick and easy Blender tips, smash that like button and subscribe. See you in the next tutorial.